God says, look, if you love me, keep my commandments. Right. Second John 6. Because that shows if you love God. I just wanna, I just wanna, I wanna be famous. Just like when you look at the brother's shirts around here, it's not hard to wear. He said he gonna put curtains on the people. So, is a curtain a good thing or bad? around your neck. That's right. That's according to the word of God. Right. Do you agree with that? Yes, yes. You agree with that, so right? Sis, if you got it on your neck, yes. It has nothing to do with... Watch, watch this, sis. If, if I'm walking around in a dress, right? Yeah, yeah. What that mean? You represent somebody. So, right, right. You see the men with fringes on their garments, yeah. what they represent? We find behind the most high God. That's right. Because that's what the Most High God told us to do. Right. But He just said, I'm not giving my image to that around your neck. Right. I'm not giving to graven image. It has nothing to do with God. Watch this. Isaiah, uh, uh, is Watch this, sis. Isaiah Watch this, sis. This is how you know a real man of God. Because this is what we're going to speak. Watch this. The book of Isaiah, chapter 8 and verse 20. To the law and to the testimony. The Bible says to the law and to the testimony of Jesus the Christ. If they speak not according to this word. If they speak not according to that. What? It is because there is no light in them. There's no what? There is no light in them. God says if they speak not according to that, there's no light in them. The Bible don't speak about it. speaks about that and casting it down. But God just told you, I'm not giving my image to that. I'm not giving that to that, that uh, around your neck. That's nothing to do with God. That's nothing to do with our readers. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17 and verse 5. Thus saith the Lord, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man. Right. Sis, you trusted in that? Somebody told you that? You haven't did the research? Right. You got to do your research. I, I didn't know where I see that, y'all. What's up with the face and the face and uh, they have nothing to do with God. I'm going to tell you straight up. I, mean, oh, I used to be a part of it. They have nothing to understand of the Bible. But I this old. I don't it has nothing to do with it, sis. Watch this. Having that, can that get me in the kingdom of God? What gets me in the kingdom of God? Doing the will of God, which is what? You said, let's get that. Sis say doing the will of God, which is what? Oh, there you go, sis. So knowing that Molak, with that around your neck, that's not going to get you in the kingdom of God. So guess what? You want to get in the kingdom of God, right? 
watch this. I want to touch on something you said. You said the will doing the will of God. Let's get that out of the Bible. The book of Psalms, chapter 40 and verse 8. I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart. The will of God is what? Now what is it? Thy law is within my heart. His laws of God. That's the will of God. It's doing the commandments of God. That's how you get in the kingdom. What profit is that? Is that going to get me in the kingdom? Then why should I wear it around my neck? I want to get in the kingdom because I'm tired of living in hell right here. Right? Right. Okay. To me, I feel like I already knew it's the way one time. I Since you keep leaning to your own understanding because we like to do stuff that feels good. Right. Sense. You got to get out of that. That's going to get you put in hell. Right. That's going to get you burnt up. The star, David. The star, hey, best believe it, sis. Right. Right. By you not having them pants on, right. most high God do not play. Because guess what comes with it? You got a lot of other stuff comes with it. Bring it out. A lot of things come with a woman with no pants, with your hair being dyed. You want to be like the other nations. Oh, the Bible says, Proverbs 3.31 says, Envy not the oppressor. My black women are pretty with that woolly hair. Make no mistake about it. Your, your hair is natural, that's good. Yes, but really. the dyeing is the problem. Well, that's that's yes, you got you got beautiful hair outside of the, the yellow. Right, that's that's the curse from God, you know that, right? What? That right there on your head. Watch hair. this, yeah, yellow hair. Yellow hair what you blue. think blonde? Hey, somebody give me the, the dictionary of blonde. Hair. What you think blonde means, sis? It's What's the definition of blonde? It's a yellow. The def exactly. Yellow my hair white. Watch this. You got it? The book of Proverbs, chapter 3 and verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not unto thine own understanding. Since you got to stop leaning to your own understanding, and lean to the understanding of God. When are you going to hearken, sis? When are you going to listen? Isaiah 30 and uh, read it this morning. Okay, go ahead. Have shine. Yes, because you are beauty. And watch this, sis. We're going to get the definition of blood. A yellow. Blonde this is yellow. this is the definition of the word blonde. Of hair. Hair or pale yellow. <laughs> what is it again? Of hair, fair or pale yellow. Fair, light, light color, light tone, yellow, flexing, toe color. Strawberry blonde, yellowish, golden, silver, silvery, platinum ash blonde. And then we're going to get it out of the book of the word of God, and that's the curse. It should be in the Leviticus 12th chapter. 13. 13. 13. 13. We're just showing you the definition of yellow hair being blood. We looked up blood. We looked at the definition of blood. And it gave us the definition of what blood is. Same thing according to God. Watch this. God hates that too, sis. Watch this. He call it a curse. He call it a curse, sis. Watch this. The book of Leviticus, chapter 13 and verse 30. Then the priest shall see the plague. And behold, if it be in sight deeper than the skin, and there be in it a yellow thin hair. A what? Yellow thin hair. God said that's a plague. Why would you want to wear that? Why would you want to wear that? You want to know why? I'm, I'm, can I, hey, sis. Yeah, watch this. I'm, I'm going to show you why. I'm, oh, that's, they say that's good. Not, oh, not according to God, but watch this, sis. I'm going to show you why. You're not easily offended, right? You're not offended oh, by no, God. No. That's good. Watch this. Isaiah uh, 30, is it 1? Yeah, 31. Watch this. This is why. This is why people we want to hear stuff that feels good to us. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 1. Woe to the rebellious children, saith the Lord. God says, woe, destruction to the rebellious children. Why are they rebellious? Because when the word of God come out, we want to lean to our own understanding. Because right. it comes. That take counsel, but not of me. And that cover, that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. That they may add sin to sin. That's what you're doing. We add sin to sin. 
I say to a senior season. The book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 8. Now go, write it before them in a table, and note it in a book, that they might be for a time to come forever and ever. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law. Oh my God! Read that again. That this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord. Since, since we've been here, you have not said, you know what, brother? You write. You read now the word of God. You know what? I got to repent and change from that. Right. You have not said that not one time. I said it last time. I do it right, but I really got it right. That's what I'm saying. You got it. Hey, that's like a dog going back to his brother. You have you seen that? A dog throw up and he come back and lick on that? That's what the Bible talks about. That's what you did. We got to stop doing that as a nation of people. Which say to the seers, see not. Who is the seers? The seers is the men of God right here. That's prophesying right. out of the word of God. Do like, hey man, no, you can't, you can't judge me. No, nah, that ain't right. But we read right out of the word of God. Unlike your pastors giving you a song and dance. I shaka like a shaya. Give me, give me ten dollars. Put your money in the pool. Put your money right here in the pit. And you learn nothing. But we give you the word of God right out of the scriptures and we have a problem with it. We need to change that. God calls us a rebellious people. God knows his people. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things. What is the right things we prophesied unto you about? What have we been talking about since we've been up here? Now, what is they dealing with? What? Seeing the truth. Breaking God's laws, right? So we've been talking to you about laws. We? Which say, and and to the prophets prophesy not unto us right things, which is the commandments of God. Speak unto us smooth things. Tell me I can wear this blonde hair. Tell me I'm okay in pants. Tell me I can do what I want to do and still make the kingdom of God. Tell me something good. I don't want to hear those commandments. You men of God, get away from me with that Bible. We've seen that. We seen people actually say want to stab us, and we read out of the Bible. Yeah. Oh, oh man, the word of God cuts. Read, prophesy deceit. Deceit. Tell me what I want to hear. We not up up here to tell you what you want to hear. The scripture says, "Give me that Isaiah 58 and uh, one." And we gonna come back. We gonna come back to this because a lot of times our people want to just tell me something that feels good I understand why because we've been oppressed for so long we've been at the bottom for so long watch the book of Isaiah chapter 58 and verse 1 cry aloud spare not lift up thy voice like a trumpet God says spare not we not here to spare your feelings get your feelings off you sleeves. We're here to give you the word of God. If you want to hear it off the barrel, we got to give it. Take it or leave it. Neither live or die. There's no gray area. There's no gray area, right? We agree. And show my people their transgression. That's exactly what we We're showing you the transgression Three. 
the book of Isaiah, chapter 30 and verse 11. Get ye out of the way. Turn aside out of the path. Cause the Holy One of Israel to cease from before us. That's what they tell us. Man, get out of my face. I'm not trying to hear what you're saying. I ain't trying to hear that Bible. Sometimes it gets to the point where they say, put the Bible down and tell me what you feel. We have seen that. Bring it over. Plenty of times. Since we went into slavery because of that on your neck. Yeah, yeah. Worshiping other gods. Since we went into slavery, that was one of the reasons. We didn't want to do what the most high God said, so he jacked us up. Do you know how you initialize? Have anybody brought up the around you? We got she already knows. She already knows. So you can you show me in the Bible that you're an Israelite? If I was to come up to you and I didn't know nothing about the truth, would you be able to show me that I'm an Israelite? Well, let's touch on it. Deuteronomy, let's go to Deuteronomy. Right. Well, you know what? The woman can't teach men, but she teach the other women and the kids. Everybody. Right, the women and the kids. The elder woman, woman of good status. That's not necessarily true. You got to come in and start keeping the commandments. Exactly. Right. You come back and receive it. I ain't gonna get up my age. I'll be there because of the God. Right, right. Watch this. We got to switch it. Watch this. This is going to help you out. That's what we out here to do to give our brothers and sisters understanding. We're not out here to pass our sisters or our brothers. If they don't know, they don't know. But guess what? When you know better, you do what? You do better, but now you know that God says a woman should not wear pants. I don't, I don't, don't wear pants, but right. there was my you know. Get that spirit out. We got to be around brothers and sisters that's like mine. I don't, I don't the book of wisdom of Solomon, ah, chapter here. 4 and verse 8. For honorable age is not that which standeth in length of time, nor that is measured by number of years. Hey, till we see elder men under the tree drinking beer. Right. Chasing the young women. Bring it out. So age is just a number. Righteous man, according to the commandments of God. Right. That's going to stand up for God. Sure but wisdom is the gray hair unto men. And, and, and unto my life is old age. Right, sis. Just because you got a great hair, don't mean you you know everything. You don't know nothing. Man, just look around. I think that's one of these streets. You can go down and the men on the tree. You know, I ain't seen no young man. I see nothing but older men around your age. Drinking and smoking. That's crazy. We got to cast that down. That's a lie. That's free what you got. Now watch this, sis, because you... This is very important. This is Israelite one-on-one. -on -one. If someone come up to you and they say, sister, you a lie. The so-called Jewish man is the white man over there in Ju uh, uh, Israel. He's the truth. How would you cast down a lie? That's a lie. It's not the truth. You should ask them, prove to me that you're an Israelite. Prove to me out of the word of God that you're the people of God. Guess what? We're going to prove to you today if you don't know. Give me the book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. To all, the whole world. Well, you read that wrong. It said the whole world. Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses spoke to who? Israelites. Spoke to us, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. Moses. Jump over to 15. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken, unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. God says it shall come to pass, meaning it's going to happen. Right. If you Israelites don't do what I say, these curses are going to fall upon you. Israelites. How do we know we Israelites? Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee, and shall pursue thee, and overtake thee, till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to keep his commandments and his statutes which he, com which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. God says these curses is going to be upon the Israelites for a sign and a wonder. How do we know churches is churches? Because of what? 
If you're going down the street, the highway, and you look over, how do you know churches is churches? How do you know churches is McDonald's? Because of, God? because of the sign, you're absolutely right. God said this is how you would know who the Israelites would be because of the signs. You just so kind of ready. You got a question, brother? Oh, yeah. Are you just listening? you see in our community, you see hatred for your brother. I'm taught to love everybody but my own people. So first off, we got to love one another and come back to the fold. The understanding that we are the Israelites, the Bible is together on the first day of the second month and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their fathers. And it's going in the pedigrees of the fathers. Going back to what I was saying, it's not a so-called cult. Right? You know, so we got some people that are the fathers. They look right. Yeah. But they know the dollars are on the line. They're by the fathers. They see the Gentiles, right? They see the Gentiles of the other nations. Yes. Have you ever seen the Bible where it says, Peter shall be saved? Have you ever seen in the Bible where it says, uh, Amalek shall be saved? Have Edom, you seen it? Edom. Moab, Edom. You don't see that. Have you no. Was any time in history that the Gentiles was called, I mean, was Northern Kingdom, or was called Israelites? Was Israelites? Yes, it was. Watch this. We're going to prove it right here. The book of Isaiah, chapter 7 and verse 9. 
and the head of Ephraim is Samaria. And the head of Samaria is Ramallah's son. So what's the head of Ephraim? Is what? Samaria? Watch it. The book of John, chapter 4 and verse 7. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Who is, who is Samaria? The woman of another nation. Oh, from what? Now, remember, read back what you got. Hold on. Isaiah chapter 7 and verse 9. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria. So who Samaria. is Ephraim? Oh. The northern kingdom. Yes. That's right. Yeah. With me? Okay. Ephraim is part of 12 tribes. You got me? Watch it. John chapter 4 and verse 7. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. So who is the woman of Samaria? Ephraim, Ephraim, read it again. Hold on, there, no, read it again. Yeah. Isaiah chapter 7, verse 9. And the head of Ephraim is Samaria. Is Samaria. Y'all got that? Watch yeah. it. Now go on. John 4 and 7. There cometh a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said unto her, Give me to drink. For his disciples were gone away unto the city to so buy me. So the woman of Samaria is home. Ephraim, you got that. Keep going. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, how is it that thou being a Jew asketh drink of me, yeah. which am a woman of Samaria? So why is Christ, why is she saying this? She said, but she's a tribe of Ephraim. Yeah. That's why you got to know history. Yeah. The northern and southern kingdom was split. Yeah. The southern kingdom has no dealing with the northern kingdom. Keep going. Watch this. Watch what happened. Keep going. Because a lot of people take this, oh, she was, of a, she was a Gentile. She was from the nation. Then said the woman of Samaria unto him, how is it that, that thou, being a Jew, ask a drink of me, which is which am a woman of Samaria. For the Jews have no dealing with the Samaritans. Which we had no dealing with the northern kingdom. That's why I said it's very important to know the Old Testament. You got to be able to line the precepts up. And that's what we doing. Hold on, hold on. Hold on, watch this. The book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 17. Ephraim is joined to idols. Let him alone. Leave him alone. Leave the northern kingdom alone. Right. You southern kingdom, Judah, Benjamin, and Levite, don't have no dealings with the northern kingdom. Watch it. Go back over. Let's finish it. Verse, verse 9, or verse 10. Jesus answered and said unto her, If thou knowest the gift of God, and who it is that said to thee, Give me to drink, thou wouldest have asked of him, and he would have given thee living waters. The woman said unto him, Sir, thou hast nothing to do, to draw with, and the well is deep. From whence then hast thou that living water? Art thou greater than our father Jacob? Against uh, our father who? Jacob. Father who? Jacob. So what is the northern woman? This woman, Samaritan woman of Ephraim of the northern kingdom. That's right. He was not dealing with them. That's why Christ came to bring them back into the fold. They took on Gentile customs. That's that's the trick. That's that's the trick. But that's why they don't understand. They think Gentiles need other people. Christ has told you, I'm not sure what to allow you for the house of people. So that will make that scripture a lot. If you going to say, if anybody say, I beg them, show me where in the scripture where it says Edom shall be saved. Show me that it says Amalek shall be saved. Show me where it's an East, biblical name. You got to show me that. A kid right here to show me that. It's not to say, oh, it's not to Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels.
Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us. Subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.